Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. Man, I'm super excited today. Why? Because we are, as you can see, doing another build. It's been a while since I had one of these videos. Um, I know we've been doing some gameplay, some live streams and all that good stuff. Um, but if this is your first time here, welcome here. We do everything tech, all things tech, whatever it is, we like to do it. And if you are a returning viewer, I appreciate you the most because you keep everything going. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So um, we got the setup here. Um, today we are actually going to be doing a PC build. It's gonna be a time lapse. Um, so I'm not gonna go through step by step. If you wanna see some step by step stuff, take a look at my playlist where I got everything. Um, I got a bunch of build videos and stuff like that if you wanna see some step by step stuff. Um, but today we are going to be doing a time lapse video and we got the setup here for a dedicated live streaming PC. Um, so I've been getting a little bit more and more into live streams and stuff like that. So I definitely wanna just have a PC that's dedicated to live streaming um, and also recording. Um, so we're gonna start with the basics today. Um, so we have the case here, um, which all of the parts and everything is gonna be listed in the description below. Um, so those are gonna be Amazon affiliate links. Um, so there's no extra cost if you buy anything from those links, but they just help out the channel. Um, and I may have some alternative links um, because uh, some of the stuff, uh, there was no budget on this bill. I was just trying to go with some items that I already had, um, like the NZXT um, H510 Elite. I already had this case. You'll see me you know, doing some billing in this case. Uh, I absolutely love this case, but I also love the Lee and Lee land cool too that you see back there that was the last build that i did uh, so that's the permanent case i'm using right now uh, for my main system um, but h510 elite this is all black with the tempered glass it's a little smoked out uh, we definitely have the rgb fans that's on the front uh, they're 144 millimeters um, and so pretty cool case um, i put all the uh, prices and stuff that's going to be in the link in the description below as well um, for the processor, we have the AMD. Of course, you know I've been on my AMD run lately. Um, but this is the Ryzen 5. This is the second generation. It's the 2600X, six cores, 12 threads. Didn't need anything special. Um, I picked up all the parts that you see here. All these parts came from Micro Center. Uh, or oh, except for the 2060 Super, but I'll talk to you about that in a second. But all the other parts came from Micro Center. Absolutely love that place. If you have one in your area, definitely check them out. They have great customer service. But definitely, this processor here is definitely gonna be more than enough. We're only gonna be streaming on this PC. I may do some testing out of some games uh, for 1080p uh, for you know a, a budget system later on down the line, but I'm only gonna be using it for streaming. Uh, we had the power supply. Um, this is 600 watts. Um, 80 plus, um, it's not a gold, not a bronze, anything, it's just an 80 plus. Um, from Thermaltake, um, definitely a pretty good pickup. Uh, we have a regular 2.5 inch, two and a half inch SSD drive. Uh, this is from Inland, um, it's pretty cool. It's 480 gigabytes, more than what I need. Um, you're definitely gonna make sure that we keep the operating system pretty quick. Um, and any other, you know, smart programs that we put on here. Keeping it simple with the Corsair Vengeance LPX memory. This is low profile memory, uh, black memory. Pretty popular right now, it's, it's 3200 megahertz. Um, it's definitely gonna be more than enough to match up with the uh, Ryzen 5 second gen uh, processor. Um, pretty good deal on these. Um, I think the processor was like 99, which was a steal. Um, the LPS memory was like 75. Um, the power supply was like 50 bucks. Um, the 480 gigabyte hard drive was like 50 bucks. Um, and then we have the 2060 Super Founders Edition. I actually got this from Best Buy. Um, it's only about a couple of different places, a handful of places where you could be able to get these from. Um, you could get it from Amazon, but it's a little bit overcharged on Amazon, so I won't have a link for this there. Um, but you could get this directly from NVIDIA or you could get it from Best Buy. They sell them at Best Buy uh, for $3.99. Um, and um, I actually introduced this card in one of my other bills. I think in the Lee and Lee case, um, I introduced this actual card. Great card for 1080p, but it's also gonna be great for streaming uh, with the new NVENC encoder. Uh, so that's gonna be great. And then we have one of the best budget motherboards that's on the market. We have the MSI B450 Tomahawk. Um, not the Max, um, but just the Tomahawk. The Max, uh, the great thing about the Max, if you could pick one up, is that it automatically comes out the box 
where you could be able to use third gen Ryzen processors. Uh, right now, if you want this, this particular one will accept the third gen Ryzen processor, um, but you have to update the BIOS first. And to do that, you have to have a second gen processor. So um, I was looking for a 2700X because those are pretty much going for steals right now, but the 2600X is pretty cool. To say this is about 900 bucks altogether. You don't have to spend this amount of money on a dedicated streaming PC. Like I said, I already had the graphics card, I already had the case in hand. Um, so spent a few hundred bucks to pick up the rest of these items. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this build. Hey, what's going on guys? Okay, so part two of the streaming build. And as you can see, we got my little buddy back there. He's off right now. Um, but we also can't have a dedicated streaming PC without the Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II. This baby does HDR. It captures HDR content. So this baby here can actually capture 4K60. Um, it can do 1440p, 144 hertz, and it can actually do 1080p up to 240 hertz. So, um, super excited about this. Um, definitely, we're gonna go ahead and get this puppy installed into the streaming rig and finish off this actual build. Uh, so, let's get to it. So, in the box, we got the knife here, the knife on dead. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, this is my first time actually having a capture card. Um, if you've seen me record gameplay and stuff like that from my computer, I've always used uh, either NVIDIA Shadowplay um, or um, I've actually um, used, since I got two PCs, I actually was using um, NDI's uh, Scan Converter um, and it worked okay, uh, but it's nothing like actually having professional equipment. Um, and even with NDI Scan Converter and also NVIDIA Shadow Play, and whenever you were doing recording um, or streaming uh, or both, it will actually take away performance uh, from your system. And uh, I definitely want to make sure that I'm giving out accurate information when it comes to like, well, you know, what's your frame rate on the game? You know, how does the 2080 Super um, you know, do with, you know, particular games, new games and stuff that's coming out and what's the maximum frame rate and uh, how does your bio settings and stuff like that look. And the only way you could be able to do that is with the capture card. So what comes in the box, um, and this is actually a pretty uh, neat diaphragm that they have here, um, but we definitely have, looks like uh, a high profile bracket. And then we have the actual capture card itself. And I love the new ones because they are a lot smaller. Uh, so this thin, low profile bracket. Ah, and then it also comes with the high grade uh, HDMI cable um, as well. And uh, let's take this baby out the package. And this is gonna be great because it's gonna go into the streaming rig. And look at that. 
black PCB on the back. You got just your normal in and out. Elgato, PCIe, and then that's it. And but this bad boy, 250 bucks. Um, it, it's gonna do the job uh, for the PS4 Pro um, and also for my dual PC setup. So let's go ahead and get this baby installed. And boom, there it is. Now you see it. I know you see it right there. So low profile, real, real skin. It still leaves enough airflow for the GPU to pull in air. Um, and so we're good to go. So now that we got this puppy installed, let's get it set up. Okay, so here's the thing. We need to take um, one HDMI cable. Um, that's actually gonna go from my HDMI port on my graphics card to the HDMI in on the capture card. Okay guys, so we got the 4K capture card installed. Uh, so I downloaded the uh, 4K capture utility uh, from Elgato's website. So if we double click on this, and right now this is capturing my game computer. And uh, so let's just kind of look at some of the settings that we have here. So the monitor that I'm using on my game computer is 1440p. It actually goes up to 165 hertz, but it's uh, looking at the actual source. Um, it's capturing through the HDMI cable at 1440p, 144 hertz. Um, we we'll go here. Um, this is my mic level. Um, the capture device that shows the 4K60 Pro Mark II. Um, Video input 1440p 144 hertz. I have the HDMI color range to expand the input EDID mode to internal and the EDID internal to 1440p. Uh, picture don't mess with those. Um, recording um, I have this set up to my folders. Uh, the video encoder is the graphics card on the streaming PC, the RTX 2060 Super. Um, I have enable HDR recording off. You could turn this on, but there's certain things that you have to do in order to edit this in Premiere Pro. Uh, so I have it off. Um, I got the format set at 1440p60, which is my monitor that I'm gaming on. Um, but you could change this to capture at any level that you want, all the way up to 4K60. I have the bit rate set at maximum for 1440p, which is 100 uh, megabits per second. Um, and then the output um, that is going to actually say the video it is 1440, um, 60, 100 megabits, and it's going to be 43 gigabytes per hour. So it's crazy. Um, I have the enable flashback recording. It says flashback recording. Temporary storage of gameplay so you could be able to slide back in time and record uh, retroactively. So I have it set at 30 minutes because it starts to take up space on a hard drive. You can actually set this up all the way to four hours if you wanted to. Um, so it's totally up to you. Uh, but I got to increase the hard drive space on this computer. Right now I have, um, you know, the 480 gigabyte SSD drive from Inland. Um, but once you have this set up, um, you click OK. And then... Uh, it just automatically starts recording in the background um you know it starts capturing some stuff but you in order to actually hit record you have to hit start and then stop when you want to and so one of the things that you have to do in order to be able to get sound um over to the capture card you actually have to change this to the elgato uh, hdmi output and once i do that you may start hearing the sound in the background. All right, so as you can see, everything that I'm doing on my gaming computer right now, Modern Warfare is updating and installing some shaders, but everything that I'm doing, you could be able to see uh, without any um, drop in performance on my gaming computer. That's what capture cards do. Um, and that's the whole reason why I built a streaming PC. This streaming PC, um, and was in order to be able to start doing, you know, capturing a gameplay, capturing on my PlayStation 4, uh, you know, 4K video, stuff like that. Um, but this is uh, gonna be awesome, especially when you're testing out new games and stuff like that that's coming out. I'm just gonna reset the overlay settings here. 
but yeah especially when you're testing out games you know stuff like that in the future and trying to figure out like what's the max frame rate i could be able to get with the hardware that i you know currently have well you need a capture card in order to be able to get the accurate numbers so and so yeah i just want to make sure i show this to you all um you know because it's super important um and and definitely we've got some great content that's going to be coming up in the future uh, but yeah again just want to show this to you uh, definitely catch out my next video let me know down in the comments what you think um, about the actual setup uh, the capture card and the streaming pc built it with the parts that i had peace